guys, welcome back to another video, and today I have a very special video for you guys. As you guys can tell from the title of this video, this is a Spin Master Monster Jam in-store finds video featuring Monster Jam Fanatics. So as I'm recording this clip, I am still at my house, but if you guys have been keeping up with my last couple of videos, basically what I'm going to be doing is I am actually going to be driving down to his house. It's a very long drive, actually. It's like a seven or eight hour drive, and I'm going to his house. We're going to hang out for a while because we've been been friends online for like seven or eight years now and we are finally meeting in person um obviously i'm sure you guys all know who he is a fellow youtuber and like i said a great friend of mine and uh yeah this is a very highly anticipated video i am super excited so what the plan is is we're going to be going to a number of different walmarts and targets just to see which trucks they have and if i can find any trucks that i need i am still looking for the breaking world record trucks as well as the gears and galaxies and the brand new mix of the dirty to cleans so there's plenty of trucks that i'm looking for and I'm super excited to film this video. I have not filmed an in-store video in quite some time so this video I am super excited about. Uh, the next clip after this is I think what I'm going to do is a quick little time lapse of me um, in the car. It'll probably be like a 10 or 15 second time lapse of me driving down to his house or something like that and then after that uh, I think the next clip will be at his house and we will basically just talk about what the final plans are and how many stores we end up going to or that we plan on going to um, I should say and then yeah like I said I'm going to show you guys all of the trucks that I find and in each store so this should be very fun and I'm super excited to see where this video heads so without further ado let's jump right into it so as you saw right there I did a little time lapse of the drive now we are actually in Target already I know I said that I would uh, make a clip at Monster Jam Fanatics house but honestly with like everything we did um at his house and stuff time flew by and I never got the chance to do it but I'm with him right now what's up guys yes sir and uh we're about to walk up to see what trucks they have like I said we're going to a bunch of stores this is just the very first stop so we'll see what they have. All right, guys, so we're about to walk up now. Like I said, or I don't know if I mentioned this before, but he is making right, guys, in store as well. So make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel and go check out his like point of view. Wait, they actually have mixed three of the dirty to cleans. Yes, sir. Check that out, guys. Do they have all four of them? Oh, I see the blackout Max D in the very back here. Let's get that out. Yes, sir. As you guys see here, mix three of the dirty to clean. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, I really want this. They don't have any spin masters here. Let's go check the pegs. I'll, I'll leave these here. Come back for it. Yep. So, yeah, that's just like the little area right there. And now we are about to go check out the pegs. And we'll see what they got. Um, they are blown. Well, here's the rest of mix three, though. So maybe yeah. we can both get them. Okay, yeah, because we, yeah, we both need the mix three, the dirty to but clean. No spin masters. As you guys know, those they are like the, the brand new doubles that... Though. That recently uh, came out. Alright, I'll get back to you guys um, and I'll tell you guys what I found. As far as Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, nothing too exciting. And then Spin Masters, the Mix 3, uh, Dirty to Cleans they have here, as you guys can see right here. So definitely going to pick those up. And yeah, we'll go to the next store now. Alright guys, so we are now at the first Walmart after a very uh, successful run at Target. Let's see what we have here at Walmart. Oh, they have Mix 16 and the Gears Singles. Yes sir, they got a... Alright, well just decent. Well here's a Let's look at the... Hot Wheels Chase monster case. trucks. I believe this is case D, and I actually need this Bigfoot, so that'll be oh, here's Saigon Shaker. that'll be good to pick up oh, for yeah, me. Oh yeah, Bigfoot. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, here's the other Gears and Galaxy pack. Yup. He needs that. Monster Jam Fanatic just pointed this out. I actually need this. I got the other pack um, yesterday. The I think it was El Toro Loco and Soldier Fortune. I got it at another Target yesterday. I didn't make an in-store on that. Uh, no, I got it at a Walmart, I believe. Um, didn't make an in-store, but yeah, now I have completed the doubles, so that's pretty cool. And uh, now I will come take a look here at the Spin Masters. Hot Wheels Monster Trucks is just tasty. They have, have the have Gears and Galaxies, as you guys can see. Oh, they do have mixed two minis. Right there. And I'm not going to be picking these up because I actually uh, won that this whole mix in a giveaway from Drillian Easy on Instagram. So, um, yeah, that's what we found here at Walmart. That is two stores in a row where I picked something up. And I'm not sure where we're going to head next, but I will let you guys know where we go. All right, guys, so the next store we are going to is Oddballs, which is like this collectible store. If you guys keep up with Monster Jam Fanatics channel, you've probably seen him go there before. I've actually never been here before, so this is my uh, first time ever, but we're about to go inside. Maybe we can find some old trucks, like old Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks. All right, guys, so here's a Hot Wheels section. I'm not really a big Hot Wheels collector, so I, I'm not really interested in this stuff. Same with the Matchbox, but we do have two old Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks down here, Bone Shaker and Nitro Circus. I have both of them, so I'm not going to be picking them up, but this is like the first section that we just came into. Uh, that's all I see, so 
far for Monster Jam. So if I find anything else, I will keep you guys updated. So here's another section right here. This is not a Hot Wheels Monster Jam truck, but it's a pretty cool truck. I'm probably not going to get it though. And then they also have Cowboy, another truck that I already have, but still cool to see that here. And we'll see if we find anything else. I think this is the fourth one we've been into now. Second Target, but fourth store. So um, yeah, I'll report again once we get to the toys and we'll see what they have. All right, guys, so we're approaching the trucks right here. And it looks like they have some of this mix of the dirty to clean. We got some Reveal of Steels as well, mix 10, of course. We got some mix 15s. Um, but again, I already have this mix. I'm mostly looking for the Breaking World Records trucks here. But Toro. yeah, they got Yellow Old Toro as well, Scooby Doo from mix 10. But it doesn't look like they have any of the Breaking World Records. So um, I believe Wait, this do you is. Need this? What you need? No, I have that one. Yeah. So I believe this is the last store I'm going to. So I'm probably going to wrap this video up here. Or actually, no, I'll wrap it up when I get home and show you guys an overview of everything I got, I think. Or maybe when I get back to um, his house, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys when I get back home. All right, guys, so I am finally back home now after a very, very long eight-hour drive. And I am very quickly going to show you guys a quick overview of all of the stuff I got in this video. Now, I actually did end up getting 16 monster trucks between Spin Master and Hot Wheels monster trucks, as well as 10 NASCARs. I know my channel isn't really towards or geared towards NASCAR, uh, but I'm still going to show you guys that stuff as well. So, without further ado, here are these Spin Masters that I got. So, I ended up getting only two out of the four uh, dirty to clean packs from this mix. I got Monster Mutt Rottweiler and Monster Mutt Dalmatian as well as Soldier Fortune Black Ops and Blackout Max D. The reason for that is because they had two of each of these packs so me and Monster Jam Fanatic were each able to get one of these and then as for the other two packs in this mix they only had one of each because we only found this mix at the very first target we went to. We were hoping we would end up seeing it again so that's why it was kind of nice and I let him get the other two since they only had one of each of the other two packs so I ended up letting him get those so I still do need two uh, Two more double packs from this mix. And then I also ended up getting the two Demolition Doubles packs from the Gears and Galaxies. We have Max D and Megalodon, and then Soldier Fortune and El Toro Loco. And the final two Spin Master trucks I got was this Reveal the Steel pack that I actually had never picked up before, so I'm super happy to finally have that. Now these next six monster trucks are all Hot Wheels monster trucks. You guys can see them right here. Now my personal favorite out of the six is definitely the Bigfoot. I am super happy to finally have that Bigfoot. I've been looking for it for a while and now I finally have it. So that is really cool. So those are all the Hot Wheels monster trucks. And again, like I said, I did get 10 NASCARs as well. I'm very quickly gonna go through these. I got all of wave three as well as one car that I still needed from wave two which is that Chase Elliott. Now, the only other car that I actually still need from this wave is, ironically, the Chase Elliott truck right there in the middle, the number 24 truck. But other than that, I have completed wave two and then also wave one as well. So now I just have to pretty much wait for wave four to come out because I found the entire wave three at Target. So... Um, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was really, really awesome getting to meet Monster Jam Fanatic. Um, it was a great experience. We ended up hanging out, I think, for a total of like eight hours. So it was really fun. I also got to meet one of my good friends, Grayson Davis, as well. You guys might have heard of him before. He's been in a few of my sign-up series here and there. And then I also got to meet Wave0096. Um, he ended up... Uh, meeting up with me and Monster Jam Fanatic at the collectible store and he also joined us at Target So it was really cool to meet those two guys as well and then especially Monster Jam Fanatic So this was an awesome weekend and uh, maybe I will end up being able to go back to his house sometime again soon And make some more in stores and more sign up series and stuff like that So the sign up series that I recorded at his house I have not posted yet but it will be posted tomorrow So stay tuned for that and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time